Raymond Francis is still looking for a job, but in the end, we helped get his money back. This all started when Francis received a text message from a company recruiter. Instead of hiring him, they stole his money in a work from home job scam. It seemed perfectly legitimate because he had all the standard questions that you would ask during an actual interview. The only thing that struck me as a little bit weird was it was a text interview. In hindsight, Francis wishes he saw the red flag sooner. Francis thought he was communicating with recruiters for an international technology company. He sent $950 total for equipment to track his remote work. But according to the Federal Trade Commission, job seekers should never pay money to get a job. Scammers ask people to pay in ways in which it's really difficult to get your money back, like gift cards, bank or wire transfers, payment apps like Zelle, PayPal, or cryptocurrency. But if you paid a scammer, immediately contact the company that you use to send money, report the fraud, and see if it's possible to reverse the transaction. Oh yeah, the bank originally told me that due to the transaction going through the way the way I intended for it to, that they weren't going to honor my request. And by that you mean Zelle? Yeah. In other words, I told them to send the money, they sent it, and they didn't want to honor that it was a scam. But after 13 News got involved and contacted Bank of America on his behalf, Francis received a letter in the mail and a credit of $950. They gave back the total sum that, that I asked for. I'm pretty thrilled by that. In an email to 13 News, we're told Bank of America recommends that clients should only send money to people they know personally. With further review, we have positively resolved Mr. Francis's case. Yes, I'm very grateful for you guys and your help in resolving this. What else would you like viewers at home to know about what you went through? Oh, just to be aware that there are very elaborate scams out there and no matter how real they seem, if somebody's asking you to pay money to get a job, it's probably a scam. Francis plans to use the refund to pay household bills. Now he's being more cautious about what websites he uses to job search. For more information about spotting scams and how and when to use digital payment apps safely, head to KOLD.com. I'm Rebecca Taylor, 13 News.